Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a um, Vicky Vibes video. Um, I don't really even know what I'm going to talk about. I just know that I needed to record something um, doing this makeup look that I'm about to do with uh, new products that I got and I just wanted to like test them out and everything. So I'll be kind of testing out products, um, kind of doing some demos for you guys. And I'll also be, you know, just giving you an update on everything. Um, and yeah, so I hope that you guys like it. Um, if you have any questions about my hair, I don't really have many answers. Um, I've had Senegalese twists for about a week now. They're getting kind of old looking. So I'm thinking about taking them down. So I hope that this lighting looks good. Um, this is different. This is a Sony NEX5, and I use, I'm use i used to using the Canon, so hopefully the lighting looks good in this video. The ISO is like automatic ISO, so um, it's a little different from what I'm used to. I'm just gonna spray my face with some fix, like I always do. Prep my face for the makeup that is about to go on. I just got a new foundation. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I had a sample of it. And I was trying the sample out for like a week or two, and then I finally decided that it is worth buying. So I, good God, I got this in my eye. Uh. And this is what it looks like. Excuse my nails, my nails are really ugly. I need to do them. And this foundation is gonna look too light at first. Foundation on me, it oxidizes. It goes on really light, but it, after a while, it kind of like morphs to my skin almost. I'm using a beauty blender to apply it, but it matches my neck. Because I'm wearing, I'm, I'm using like artificial lighting right now, so it's probably not going to show up very true to color. But um, when I go outside, I can definitely tell the difference. Just remember, guys, that my foundation does not look the same in the camera as it does in real life. Okay. Um, sometimes my foundation comes off light on camera. That's only because the lighting is super light. So if I sit super close, it's going to look light. Like I said, I love this foundation mainly because it just feels really good on the skin. It doesn't feel too liquidy or heavy. It feels like I have nothing on. And I love the fact that it goes on like a powder like consistency. I'm going to use my dip brow because dip brow is my fave. How has everybody been? I hope that you guys had a great Valentine's Day. I did. If you don't know, I was out of town. I went to Mexico. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed my Valentine's Day lookbook and the whisper challenge and all of that. I actually wasn't gonna do a Valentine's Day lookbook, but I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do one just for fun. Just cause I felt like it. And I hadn't done a lookbook in so long. Um, and it's only because I hate the trim in my house. I have brown everywhere. Like the doors are brown, the trim is brown, cabinets. It really bothers me that everything is brown like that. It throws off my lookbooks, I feel like, when the floor like has that brown lining on the bottom. And I hate carpet. So I'm gonna try to make like a little something to go down there so I can film lookbooks. Or I can just start doing them outside, but it's so cold to go outside, so. I do wanna talk about something with you guys. And I was just talking about this with my mom and my friend on the phone um, yesterday. Talking about being yourself, I've noticed that there's a lot of people that have YouTube channels, which I don't even know why I haven't really noticed that, but there's a lot of people on YouTube. I never realized how many people there were that were actually here. One, it made me feel kind of small because it's like, okay, you know, I almost have 100,000 subscribers, which is a huge accomplishment for me. But there's a lot of people with 100,000 subscribers. We end up looking at those people as competition and we end up like, okay, trying to compare our work with their work. And it's like, okay, well, where do I fit in amongst all these people, you know? I keep messing up my brows, man. It's just a lot of people and I just like, sometimes I kind of get overwhelmed because it's like, how do I separate myself from people? Then I have to remind myself that I have to be myself at all times. I don't know, it's just like, there's some people who just hop on here and they automatically have this huge following. It's just, it's weird. It's like YouTube isn't, doesn't feel the same anymore, which kind of makes me sad because, you know, it's losing its fun factor. And that's why I'm really trying to like, work with people that I know that have been, you know, in the game for like the same amount of time that I have 
and we you know work together to kind of make it something different make it more of like a community effort instead of it being just everybody fighting to be the most popular um because it's just it's really frustrating to see all these people on here that you know some of them are good but then some of them aren't really that good like they're just like doing what everybody else is doing almost like it's like what makes you different what makes you original you know how do you what do you bring to the table because i don't i don't want to like sit up here get lost in the crowd of people and try and be them you know not my style okay so pause let me get to this this is the nars creamy concealer really excited about this so it's a doe foot concealer it just looks like that it's really creamy and you only need a little bit a little goes a long way i'm the color caramel by the way and my um foundation is the color tahoe so i love doe foot applicators i feel like you can get a precise application i look like a native american or something um i'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend it out And it is exactly what it says it is. It's creamy. It's really nice. It's a really nice concealer. This is my first time using NARS, their foundation concealer type stuff. I only have a blush and the albatross powder. So um, I'm glad that I'm trying some new things. I'm excited about it. Now I got a new powder. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. I don't know if you guys have tried this, but this is my first time using it. They also have the Duo Matte Powder, which I wanted to try. But I decided to try this, and my color is 173. Um, hopefully it's the right color. It looks like it's the right color. My hairline is like way darker than my face, so add a little bit of bronze there. And a little bit of contour here. People always get mad at me because I apply makeup so sloppy, but I feel like as long as your makeup, like, gets on your face and it looks decent when you're finished why does it matter how you put it on like y'all are like so picky i'm heavy-handed and so rough with everything like i'm terrible who cares how i put my makeup on like as long as it's on there we good and then i'm gonna take some more powder and blend that out my face is really angular and it's pretty defined already so me putting on a lot of contour is just like redundant there's no point because then i end up looking like a drag queen be out here looking like rupaul's okay mm -hmm. ain't nobody trying to look like him her whatever he is finished with my face i think i'm liking that powder i think i am my highlight and this is soft and gentle by mac i actually like using a fan brush to apply my highlight now it feels like it just glides on your skin better like it just doesn't that look good like how does it even happen? But um, wasn't I talking about something? I think I was talking about being yourself. I was thinking about this the other day. I was thinking about this. I came up with my own little analogy. Okay, are you ready for this? Are you ready? If you've ever driven on the highway, traffic hits, and then there's like one lane that goes faster than all the other ones, right? So you get in that lane, but then it starts moving slower and then all the other lanes start going past you and start going faster than you. And you're like, oh my God, okay, I was just in that lane and now it's going too fast. Okay, now let me get back over on this side. So then you move over to that lane again and then that lane slows down and the other one that you were just in starts going faster, right? Life is like a highway. Life is a highway. That's why that song came out. Oh my God, that makes so much sense. You guys, I really just had like an epiphany though. Life is a highway. You, you are driving your own car. Essentially, you're driving your own car trying to get to your destination, but you have to be aware of what other people are doing on the road because you want to be safe and you want to make sure that you know what you're, what's going on in your surroundings. But the only thing about that is if you worry too much about what's going on in the other lanes, then you won't be looking on the road that you need to be focused on. You know what I mean? Your lane is for you. Their lanes are for them. So you kind of have to have a little bit of trust and faith to get you through that drive because 
if you're worried about everybody else, you will lose sight of what you're supposed to be doing and you'll either hit the car in front of you, you will be trying to figure out how everybody else is getting so fast and you'll keep trying to follow behind all these people and then you'll never get to your destination because you're going other places that you ain't supposed to be going following other people. That's what life is like. You have to like kind of keep your eyes on the road in front of you and you can't be worried about what everybody else is doing. I mean, of course, they're gonna be there and you have to pay attention to them so that, you know, you're aware of your surroundings, but at the same time, you can't spend all of your time looking in the fast lane, trying to see how to get to where you wanna go faster, you know, and run the risk of getting into trouble or um, crashing into somebody, you know, and yeah. This is really deep and it can go a whole bunch of ways, but I'm gonna stop myself because I'm kind of losing sight of what I'm supposed to be saying, so. I'm gonna use Warm Soul. Actually, I think I'm gonna use Love Joy. Love joy, warm soul, love joy, warm soul. So yeah, that's that's my little analogy and I thought that I was so smart for coming up with that but somebody's probably already said that so whatever. But y'all get my gist, right? Just remember that when you're having a hard time being yourself or you like feel like people are leaving you behind or you feel like people are like moving faster than you or getting the things that you want. Just remember that everybody's in their own lane and everybody's trying to get to their destination the quickest way possible. But sometimes you have to be slow and steady and stay in your lane and worry about what's going on in your car. Okay, don't be all up in everybody else's car because you're not driving their car. You driving your own car. And that sounds a lot easier. <laughs> when I'm saying it like that with so much confidence, but I promise you guys, I struggle with the same things. I have issues with focusing on my own lane as well. So don't think that I have this all figured out because I don't. Last thing I'm gonna do is put on my mascara and this is better than sex mascara. It is not better than sex, but we're not gonna keep talking about that. We're just gonna move on and put this mascara on so I can finish this makeup tutorial. This mascara really is good though. Like it's, it's not better than sex, but it's better than a lot of stuff that I've tried, so. <laughs> This is what one eye looks like with one coat of mascara, no coat, one coat, boom. Um, but I have naturally long eyelashes anyway, so people are gonna be like, oh my God, how do you make your lashes so long? They just grow like that, guys. I'm just a hairy beast. And so with that, I get good lashes, which is a plus, but then everything else on my body is long too, so. I also get the long mustache and chin hairs. And um, I mean, my eyebrows go great, but so do my hair on my legs and I get knuckle hairs and toe hairs and I mean there's a lot going on here. Just doing a lot of waxing and shaving. I think I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow. I'm gonna use brown script and I'm just gonna apply that to to my crease just a little bit. Oh what the heck just put it all over the lid and kind of blend that out just a little bit. I'm gonna take blunt, apply that to lid increase, lid increase. This is Wet n Wild's uh, 914C Mochalicious, and I'm just applying that to my lips. And I think I wanna add a little bit of yash to it just to make it a little more nude. I always mix my lipsticks, guys. I never wear like one flat color anymore just cause I get a more unique color when I mix stuff, so. And I'm gonna put a little gloss on cause I've been feeling gloss lately. This is the MAC Lip Glass by Rihanna. I love this lip glass. People don't like the lipstick, but I really love the lip glass. So yeah. That's my makeup, guys. Yeah, just remember to be yourself, guys. Be shameless, do you, boo. Stay in your lane. Don't worry about other people, what they're doing. That's really all you can do, right? Because you worry too much about the cars around you, you gonna crash. Life is a highway. 